What's up guys, how's it going? And in this video I wanted to do an unboxing of the brand new Razer Orochi 2013 edition. This is the Elite Gaming Mouse from Razer and it's got some really cool tricks up its sleeve. Now it's got an ambidextrous design, a 6400 dpi sensor, a Razer 4G, and a dual function mode and I'll explain more about that uh, as I unbox this. But uh, taking a look at the box here, it's really nice. Razer puts a lot of effort into their boxes. You can see uh, all of its glory right there. I'll put it a bit closer here for you guys to see. There you go. So it's got the ambidextrous design, the 4G sensor. It's also got uh, um, special, you know, gaming grade buttons, uh, the dual function Bluetooth wired mode, as well as extended battery life. And as you can see, uh, it is labeled for their Elite line here. So just uh, over here on the right side of the box, it explains more about the design and everything there. Uh, different languages, uh, whatnot. I believe this came from Canada, I'm not sure. Um, but that's probably why they've got all these different languages here. So as you can see, PC and Mac. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this here. So this thing is... Uh, Rocking a ton of cool stuff, as I explained before. It's got um, basically that uh, really high high definition 4G sensor by Razer. So there is uh, the Razer Rochi itself. So I'll put the box aside there. Uh, so here it is. Here's the Razer Rochi in its uh, glory here. So if I lift this up actually here, I believe there's, yeah, there's package contents on the inside there. Uh, so here we've got some, uh, some literature. So we'll put the mouse aside for a second there. And in the box you get this carrying case. So it's very small as you can see here, just the carrying case compared to my hands. I don't have very large hands either. So um, this is really small when it comes to mouse, but it is targeted for mobile gamers, and that's something that it's basically a mobile gaming mouse. Now, that's not exactly the purpose that uh, it's going to serve me. I'm going to be taking it some places um, here and there, so it is going to help me out in that way, in that sense, but I am going to use this a lot as a gaming desktop mouse. Um, the reason I bought this, it's a small mouse. Um, I was using a uh, Apple Magic mouse, which I got sick of when it came to gaming, but that's a small mouse. I didn't want to step up to a, a very large mouse and feel very awkward, so I decided to go with this. I was comfortable with a small mouse already. That's something you should think about. I've got a, uh, a claw grip as, uh, as uh, it's labeled. Some people have a palm grip. I'll talk more about that when I take the mouse out. But uh, this is basically a mouse that all you claw grip uh, mouse users are probably going to want. So we've got the cable. It's very nice. It's got gold plating. I'll take this top off here. It's got uh, gold plating, just little aesthetic aesthetic things. You can see that it's got this weird shape. And uh, let's see, focus in there. So that weird shape is because this is the dual function wired cable. So you're not going to use this necessarily to charge because this does accept AA batteries. And when you put in rechargeable batteries, I believe it does not charge through the cable. So that's something to uh, think about there. Uh, the Razer Mamba and the Ouroboros both charge through the cable, this one does not. But you can use it in USB mode. So you've got the cable right there. It also comes with two uh, Energizer batteries, so you can pop them in right away. Uh, here we've got the literature. So uh, I'll take it out as well as these uh, basically Apple stickers as all these uh, high-tech companies are giving out now. So two Razer uh, UV sensitive stickers, I believe they're UV sensitive. I'm not sure exactly on that. And here we've got the literature. So I'll uh, open this up here. So I know the original Razer Orochi came with a lot of instructions. Uh, there was a Mac instructions guide, a Windows instructions guide, um, I think a couple languages too. This one just comes with one, short and sweet, gives you everything that you need to know, and basically that's it. It also comes with this card uh, with a picture of the mouse. As you can see, uh, 
eight-headed dragon that this mouse is named after. And uh, some information about the razor guy, which we don't need to know. So now to the mouse itself. So it comes in this packaging. I know the original packaging, I've seen people try to unbox it. It's really a big pain and this one just slides right off. So here we've got the mouse, um, plastic here. So we've got the mouse. Um, it's, it's really nice. Uh, when you've got the batteries in, um, it's a bit heavy, but if you don't want to use the batteries, you can use it in cable mode and you don't need batteries. Uh, the scroll wheel lights up green as well as a little battery indicator which exists right there. It's got the 4G sensor right here as well as these uh, four Teflon feet right here that uh, supposedly are a bit uh, scratch. Uh, what is it called? They, they get scratched up uh, pretty easily apparently as well as this middle one here. So uh, there's these four and then there's this middle sort of ring around the sensor. So it's got this gap here, it looks really cool, but that's, where the, that's actually where the cable goes. So uh, talking a little, bo uh, little bit more about the mouse here, you've got obviously ambidextrous design, so it works uh, left-handed, oh man, that's awkward, right-handed as well. It's got seven programmable buttons, so you've got um, two on the side here as well as two on the other side, basically exactly the same. Uh, by default, these are mouse click four and five, and this one, these two won't change the DPI. Uh, bleh, left, and, uh, left and right click, middle click, scroll wheel, uh, it does not tilt side to side. Oh wait, not sure if that's a right side click. I don't believe this does tilt side to side, but for some reason I can click it this direction. So you can sort of slide your finger into it and click on it uh, when you're holding it with your right hand, but with your left hand, it does not do that. So that's something to think about actually. So you can click the middle click button, as you can see, I'm not even, I'm just kind of clicking it to the side. That doesn't happen. Oh wait, wait, is that the, no. So it only happens with the right hand. That's actually kind of weird. So it is ambidextrous, but if you use it with your left hand, you have to use your other finger. That's really awkward. Anyway, so the 4G sensor, it can go up to 6,400 DPI on wired mode. I don't believe that's true about the wireless mode because of the fact that the older generation model also only worked on uh, wired mode. If you go down to wireless mode, I believe it gets cut in half. So you'll only get, um, what is it, 3,200 DPI, which is also incredible when it comes to uh, a mobile mouse, but still. Um, it's got a one millisecond response time. As you can see, it glides. It's really, really slick. I like that. Um, it's small, so that's something that you should probably uh, consider while you're buying this. As you can see, compared to my hand here, um, it doesn't even touch my palm. It just sort of lays on my fingers, which is something that I really like about this. Is, again, I have the uh, claw grip, which some people use, um, where you kind of hover your fingers over or kind of keep them on, and you just kind of move your fingers, and sometimes you move your hand like that. Uh, some people are palmers, where they put their palm on it, and then they kind of put their fingers on it and then it's really weird. So if you're that kind of person where you put your palm on the mouse, then don't buy this because this is probably going to cost you a lot of pain and stress on your hands. And basically you'll, you'll keep sliding your hand on it. But it is really nice if you have that uh, claw grip. So. It's also got uh, apparently double the battery life of its predecessor. Its predecessor got, uh, I think, around 15 hours of battery life. This one gets around 30, so, and that's continuous battery life, so basically you never, you know, letting go of the mouse, so you just moving it in circles for 30 hours, uh, it will uh, release its battery power, and I'm assuming that is on the highest level or maybe even the lowest level on DPI. I don't know how they measure it. And basically that's it. It's uh, Synapse 2.0 enabled and all that good jazz. So that's what the mouse specs. This is where the cable plugs in. So as you can see here, the cable goes into uh, the back here, 
or the front, I should say, where that gap is, there's a micro USB right there, if you don't see. This is a micro USB cable, and it just sort of pops into place. Now, something to keep in mind is that this is sort of easy to put, get in. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, it is kind of a hassle, but you can put it in pretty easily. However, <laughs> taking it out is a different story. I don't know if it's just mine. I don't know if this is something that all of them have, but it is really tough to get this thing out. Like, I feel like I might actually break the mouse trying to get it out. Uh, I was able to get it out multiple times without it breaking, but that's just something to think about, that um, if you are gonna be continuously switching back and forth, you probably maybe don't wanna buy this, I don't know. So yeah, that's uh, basically it. So that is the Razer Orochi gaming mouse. It's really awesome. And I'm going to put out a review of this maybe in a week or so, talking about, you know, things I like about it, maybe some things I don't like about it. But so far, it basically has uh, impressed me. So thanks for watching uh, and see you in the next video.